Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one we're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over sine 2x. How do you ever know how to proceed when you do anything in mathematics? Well in this case, experience and let's do a simple check. What I mean is try to plug in x equals 0 itself to see what happens. So in this case when I do that I will have the following. At step number 2, 1 minus cosine 0, well that's 1 minus 1. In the bottom I have sine of 2 times 0, which is sine of 0. Now 1 minus 1 is 0. In the bottom, sine of 0 is 0, and you end up with d and e, does not exist. That's what this simple calculation seems to suggest. So it means we have to rewrite the expression in some fashion. So the next line, I can proceed this way. For example, I could say that I can replace sine of 2x from step 1 to step 3 with 2 sine x cosine x. It's a well-known trig identity. I can do this. This quantity, 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x, that's a form of the number 1. You're allowed ever and only to multiply by 1. That allows you to transform the appearance of an expression, but not change it fundamentally. In other words, it allows you to, for example, work with it and find a limit and so on. So here when I do that, I have 1 plus cosine x, I'm multiplying by that top and bottom because that's the conjugate of 1 minus cosine x. The next step, what we can do is this. Uh, when you go from 4 to 5 here, you have 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 times cosine x is cosine x. I'm just foiling, basically. Negative cosine x times 1 is negative cosine x, and then negative cosine x times positive cosine x is negative cosine squared x. Now, the next stage here, that gives us this. And also, in the bottom, you end up with 2 sine x cosine x within parentheses multiplying 1 plus cosine x from step 4 above. That's the new denominator. Let's continue with our little trip here. Well, the next step is to observe that when we transition from 5 to 6, we see that cosine x and negative cosine x obviously will cancel. That leaves only 1 minus cosine squared x as step number 6 in the numerator. The bottom is untouched. Let's take a look at the next move here. So back across the top of the mountain in the clouds. <laughs> okay, let's be serious, it's math. What I'm going to do is when I transition from 6 to 7, I'm going to replace 1 minus cosine squared x with sine squared x from the basic Pythagorean identity. How do I know? How can I describe all of this? It's so simply a matter of experience. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> okay, next one. What I'm going to do is sine squared x. I can rewrite that as sine x times sine x. Why would I want to do that when I go from 7 to 8? Because on the bottom of 7 it says sine x. And on the top I have sine squared x. I want to cancel off whatever I can always. That's a general principle in math to make things simpler. So I'm, I go from 7 to 8 by rewriting the top as sine x sine x. Then maybe you can predict the next step. Oh, I went a little too fast, but it's okay. Step number 9, notice relative to 8 is a bit simplified because I took the sine x and I canceled with the sine x in the bottom. So now in the top... Of step 9, I have only a single sine x, and in the bottom I have 2 cosine x within parentheses multiplying 1 plus cosine x. At this point, you can evaluate the limit directly through substitution of x with 0. So on the top, I'm going to have sine of 0, and the bottom I will have 2 cosine 0 plus, or rather multiplying 1 plus cosine of 0. So I'm making a direct replacement of x with 0. When I go from 10 to 11, I have sine of 0, which is 0 in the top. Cosine of 0 is 1 in this position. 1 plus cosine of 0 is 1 plus 1. And because I have 0 in the numerator, I end up basically with 0 divided by 4. So the answer finally is that the value of the limit is 0. And that is it. I like to show a lot of detail. Obviously, if you can skip some of this because you can do it in your head, that's understandable. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another magical video. <laughs>